Hey Ferris, this is Mr. Lowry and we are doing static and kinetic friction. Remember, friction is a force that opposes motion. It's the force between two surfaces in our contact. And we have two types. We have static friction, which is the force between two non-moving surfaces. And we have kinetic friction, which is the force between two moving surfaces. So static friction is the force we have to overcome to get an object moving from rest. And kinetic friction is the friction we have to overcome to keep a moving object moving. All right, so we have some basic equations. I've got force of static friction, so Fs. I've got the force of kinetic friction. These are over here, sorry. And in here I've got mu. Mu is the coefficient of friction, and it varies depending on what surfaces are involved. So sandpaper and cheese are going to have different coefficients of friction than a hockey puck and ice. Um, coefficient of friction coefficient of friction is a dimensionless quantity and it's got a range of zero where we have no friction to one where we have the maximum amount of friction. It's going to be equal to the force holding the surface together. All right, we have question variation number one and uh, there'll be four more following this so you guys can practice. And as always, we'll try and use the guess system and whenever possible we're going to draw some diagrams. I've actually got one starting here a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our problem. A huge pile of leaves is wrapped in a tarp in the middle of the lawn. Uh, the wrapped leaves weigh 580 newtons. The coefficient of friction for the lawn is 0.55. How much force is required? So let's write our darn giving. So we've got a drawing, and you can do that before or after. Go ahead and slide this up for you. So I've got um, a weight force. So force weight, I could have written... I could have written um, FG for gravity, but it's 580 newtons. Um, I've got a coefficient of friction. Now, we've got a pile of leaves at rest, so it's not moving. So we've got to get them started. So we're looking for the coefficient of static friction, and that's our, it's going to equal 0 0.55. Sorry. Weight has units of newtons. Coefficient of friction has no units. Um, and we need to find our force of static friction. This is the force we need to overcome to get those leaves moving. Alright, so let's look at our picture. Because if we look at the formula, there's only one formula. Our formula is force of status, static friction is going to equal to mu s, the coefficient of static friction, times the normal force. We weren't given the normal force, but if you draw a picture, remember our free body diagrams. Our weight force is the pull of gravity on the mass that makes up the leaves, but we have an equal and opposite force is our normal force. And we have that equal and opposite force because um, if we didn't, the leaves would just fall into the earth. So your normal force is equal to um, your weight force. They're, they're equal and opposite. So Fw equals F, oops, that's messy. F, W equals F normal, and they both equal 580 newtons. So now I've got everything I need. So I'm looking for question mark, is our, uh, our static friction force. That's, that's what we don't know. So I've just got my formula. You've got just the same formula, whether it's dealing with static or kinetic, but obviously we want to know the difference between the two. So now I can go ahead and plug in my values. So static force of static friction is equal to 0 0.55 times 580 newtons. And if I go ahead and multiply those together, I'm going to get force of static friction is equal to 319 newtons. So the way you read this is we need to overcome a static friction force of 319 newtons to move the leaves. Anything less than that, then the leaves aren't going to budge. All right, Bears, you got three more problems after this to practice. See you next time.